here we are back in our Google Docs and we're going to create we're going to use forms and spreadsheets now in the create again we have spreadsheet and form and in an earlier segment we've uploaded Excel files but Excel and um, spread, Google spreadsheets are a little different if you're collecting data and student information you should start with a form because the form if you create a form and again here you'll see in this top left you can automatically require people to log in from your domain you could automatically collect their usernames or if you're just doing a general survey for the from the public you would uncheck all of them so here I'm going to do a rating question or let's say rate I'm only going to do a few questions and again the question types are important generally you want to use the multiple choice, the checkbox, list, scale, and grid. Those will collect data and graph it for you automatically. You might follow up with some paragraph or text, but the, the, the more you use these fields, the better your data is graphed for you. Um, so I'm going to use a scale. So here we're going to uh, low, and then it's high. Uh, and you could, in the help text, you might give more explanation. So again, I'll make that a required question and done. Here another sample question. I click the pencil and here you might want to explain. Here you might want a paragraph with them have them writing it in, but you might not have to make it required. And then again to add more items you click up here and choose from a list. So you might want a checkbox. So here you could do a listing. I don't know, it's just an example. Video something like that and again you could add an other so they could type in well now to delete that you do that now click other and it'll give them a feel I'm gonna make that required so they if they have something else they could add it so again that's how you add questions oh I forgot I have to give it a title the form so here I'm going to go self evaluation for and then here you would give a full description okay. and then you could give again you could put links into there you could give much more explanation of what's expected of them and you saving it usually does it automatically if you want a pretty theme you could click on theme and select a um, sort of like this one and here that's what it looks like it looks pretty professional and you apply and even though I hit apply I don't see it here but when I email it or share it with others so I'm going to email it right from here and again I'm this is pulling up usernames from this Google Apps account. Or say I didn't want to email, I would go to, um, and once I've closed it, okay, where is it? It actually goes right to my Google Docs. I could find it by going Own by Me, cause, and now I'm going to star it so I can find it later, or I'm going to actually put it into a, um, a collection for, I'm just going to stick it for now. I'm going to click Sample Collection. Now if I open that, that form is not here it's actually the spreadsheet which was the result of the form I just made if I want to edit the form I'll click up here form edit the form and I can make more changes I can add more questions the only thing you don't want to do is mess with these columns and move these around if you do it it will break the link to the form that you just did so the form dictates the columns and where they go now you can embed the form in a web page, go to the live form, or send the form. So if I click go to the live form, I could actually copy this address here, put it that link on a website, or I could email it to people into and they would could fill it out. So I'm going to fill it out. So I'm signed in, it tells me okay, it's collecting my username and I'm going to rate my participation. I'm going to put four and I'm going to say, okay, I bet a lot and research and I might have say, okay, I uh, presented. Now I'm going to submit. So now this is what the response they get and you could edit that later and when you edit the form what comes up at the end. And I'm, now as I go back to the, the spreadsheet, here's the data already in there because so, I filled it out as soon as it's filled out it enters the data and it shows you up here how many people have completed the form so if I go to form and I see the summary this is where it's useful to have checklists the multiple choice the boxes because it will graph automatically and give you the data where here is the text it's just text it's hard to pull that information out and the more data you get in the more useful um, you'll see this to be 
So you could either you could copy this and paste that into a Google Doc for a nice presentation, or you could just like in Excel, if you know how to use spreadsheets and data, you could create graphs for different sections of it. Um, here we are. There's not much data in here, so it doesn't look very good. But insert. So now I created a little graph, and I can either leave this on this page with the spreadsheet, or I could um, move it to its own sheet. So now here I've got the spreadsheet and the data. Here I've got a chart. And this chart will change as the data is um, all is added. Now another way to make a form and to, to use spreadsheets and forms is to create and go to the template. The template gallery is where people uh, create um, spreadsheets documents and they share them for others to use. It, they're, they're assured in a way that if you're not editing the same one but you're, you're, you're giving it as a template for people to use. Now here at the Central Vermont Basic Ed uh, templates, there's no one has uploaded any. But if I go to public templates and I click on forms, I can find some example uh, forms. And you can preview them. And if you want to use them, here you could look go green. Um, this is a nice little survey on conservation. And say I want to use it. I'll click use this template. And they're free to use. Um, and what it does, it makes a copy um, for you. And you can edit it. So say I, instead of so I'm going to require it automatically. So I don't need first name. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of the last name. And I don't need company. And email address I don't need. Because I'm automatically collecting the data from our users. And so now I'm going to um, save. Go back here. I'm, I can actually close that. And in my Google Docs, here is the... Um, the template that I just selected. Now a lot of times templates you, they should uh, remove the data so let's see if we can uh, we can get rid of the data here. If I go to that and shift and data I can d edit and I can should delete rows 3 and 4. There we go. So he, the, the form is empty, the data is gone and now we can start from scratch. And again I can go to form, I can edit the form I can uh, go to the live form and I can share it with my users or here I can go here and edit the form and I don't like the theme so I'm gonna go to this theme and apply and the garden theme and then go back here form and now I can go to live form well I gotta refresh it here we go so now I'm gonna share this with my users and they're going to fill it out. Template, I didn't have to do the work of creating it myself.